today we are going to discuss an important topic that is thyroid disorders in children. So many parents asked me, do thyroid problems occur in children? Which is yes. So there are two important types of problem regarding related to thyroid. One is called as congenital hypothyroidism, which can happen from the birth. The second is autoimmune hypothyroidism mostly, which can happen in the childhood age, say after like seven or eight years of age. So let's discuss these topics one by one. So to discuss importantly, the thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped gland, which is situated in front of our neck. It releases two important hormones, T3 and T4. And they have some important functions in the body, like to monitor the growth, to take care of the body metabolism, especially in the newborn babies, to take care of the development of the neurons of the brain. So thyroid is a very important hormone for the brain development of the child in the beginning years of life. So in this condition called as hypothyroidism, what happens is the thyroid gland is not able to produce the T3 and T4 hormones required for the body. This is called as hypothyroidism. And if the thyroid gland is working in excess and it is producing more T3 and T4, it is called as hyperthyroidism. So today we'll be mainly talking about hypothyroidism and uh, the one which starts from the birth which is called as congenital hypothyroidism. So the two important common reasons for uh, having thyroid problems from the birth are one if the thyroid gland is not developed properly either it is absent or it is small in size this is called as dysgenesis and if the thyroid gland is present but it is still not able to produce the hormones properly it is called as dyshormonogenesis. So these are the two important reasons for developing thyroid in newborn period. So how do we diagnose diagnose it is we do few uh, simple tests called as TSH, T4 and T3 and uh, we diagnose this problem and uh, as this uh, condition can lead to mental retardation if not treated on time it is very important to start the treatment as early as possible. The treatment is simple it involves giving a tablet of thyroxine we don't get any syrup formulation in India so the same thyroxine tablet it has to be crushed and mixed in water or the breast milk of the mother and given to the baby once in the morning daily. The doses will be discussed with you by your treating doctor and uh, it is very important to monitor the child's growth, height and weight and the development like what are the different milestones which the baby is achieving. Uh, your doctor will help in guiding you on that and uh, this treatment uh, has to be continued. So there are two different forms like if it is a permanent form of hypothyroidism, the treatment has to be continued till life and uh, if it is a transient problem which your doctor would be guiding you on maybe this therapy may have to be taken till three years of age and then a trial of tapering the medicine and stopping can be as per the advice of the doctor strictly okay so this is congenital hypothyroidism now, now let's talk about autoimmune hypothyroidism so this is usually seen in children around the age of like after seven or eight years of age but it can happen a little earlier also so the common symptoms of hypothyroidism during the childhood are putting on excessive weight constipation passing hard stools hair loss feeling tired all the time some mood changes or changes in the academic purpose performance of the child. So if you notice any of these symptoms, you must approach your uh, pediatrician or pediatric endocrinologist immediately and get the child checked for the thyroid hormones and start treatment immediately to ensure a proper uh, growth and uh, development of your child. Thank you.